Hey guys, and uh, welcome to the first ever uh, video, uh, second second video, I should say, uh, for FK their bundler. And in this video, I'm going to try to define existentialism because Kafka really um, uh, uh, pumped a lot of existentialism, existentialist ideas into the metamorphosis. So hopefully, after watching this video, you can then go forth and. Um, if you don't watch any of my videos, at least you'll have a better understanding of um, of uh, the metamorphosis. Uh, not only for, as I as I as I already said, for the videos I will be posting and my group members will be posting on um, uh, uh, chapter by chapter anal analyses of uh, uh, the metamorphosis, but um, also for your own own uh, literary analysis of what. Um, what, what really, what Kafka is really trying to mean, uh, with a man turning into a giant bug? Okay, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, I'll start off with a def definition here from the Merriam-Webster uh, dictionary. Uh, existentialism, a chiefly 20th century philosophical movement embracing diverse doctrines, but centering on an analysis of the individual e of individual existence in an unfathomable unfathom fathomable universe and the plight of the individual who must assume ultimate responsibility for the acts of free will without any certain knowledge of what right or of right or wrong or good or bad okay um, existentialism really uh, uh, came about after uh, World War II in France uh, this period, you know, uh, coming out of World War II, a uh, uh, period of suffering, uh, anguish, depression, uh, and people were looking for um, ways to <clears throat> kind of um, categorizing the sentiment of of hatred, um, of, of 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 emotion, and 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 in this search. Um, for understanding, uh, this ph this philosophy kind of evolved out of that. Um, uh, as they started defining uh, uh, good, bad, um, right, wrong, and trying to uh, differentiate between the two, they realized that um, you know. Ultimately, you are responsible for your actions, and and that's the bottom line, and that is basically existentialism. And there are there are three key elements to um, existentialism. The first being responsibility. You have you are responsible for your actions. It, it no matter what society tells you, no matter what um, your 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 family tells you, no matter what your religion tells you, no matter what. Uh, uh, your company tells you it's you that is that is going to be held responsible. Uh, if you, you you kill someone, you know that that that's that's on you. It's not a it's not a um, um, it's not it's not society's job to uh, to tell you that's wrong or 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 that is that's right. If that's in the society you live in, it's you who decides that. Um, not necessarily putting a, a, a Good or bad label on it, but uh, but being but being willing enough to accept the cons consequences for killing that person. So um, that's that's number one responsibility. Number two is um, intellectualizing memory and uh, basically being able to detach yourself from experience is that. Um, uh, that may uh, carry with them also an emotional, um, uh, an emotional, uh, an emotional attachment. You know, maybe you're not able to look back on the. You're, you're an existentialist would be able to look back on the past without uh, associating emotion with certain events in their life. Um, that's number two. That's another. Another key element of an existentialism, existentialism, or an existentialist. Um, oh, and and this number three here. So we have responsibility, uh, 
intellectualization of memory, and number three is existence precedes essence. And this really, really, really is the core of, of what I'm trying to say in this video, because um, uh, Kafka really, really, really makes this obvious um, through the character Gregor, because He's a traveling salesman. He 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 lives all his life, um, uh, business trip to business trip. He's trudging along, paying off his father's debts, um, trying to get his daughter into uh, his not his sister into um, into music school. Uh, not, he's not trying to get her in, but he's 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 focused on on on, on, on realizing her dream. Of going to music school that, that that is that that's what it really is it's a dream um he's got a new apartment um big strain on his family financially his dad's already his mom has asthma uh he's just a focused uh focused individual but so stressed out so completely stressed out he has no time for anything else but work and for work, that's all he does. He is he works, and he really pulls himself away from the basic um, characteristics of 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 being a human. He neglects to sleep. He for, he, he doesn't sleep very much. He has no meaningful relationships, and. I think Kafka um, takes this cloth salesman character and turns him into a beetle uh, to to um, to really to really examine um, how far someone can go in their life from being from from hu human. To something so far away, and that's and that is a result of the choices that they have made. Now that's the tie back to existentialism. He has made so Gregor has make makes so many choices um, regarding his regarding what he's gonna, how much he's going to work, where how, his business trips. Um, you know, he he talks about uh, working off his family's debt and um, and getting out of the 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 getting out of the cloth business, but he chooses to keep working he chooses to buy the bigger uh, to rent the bigger apartment for his family he chooses to to uh, set a goal of sending his um, sister to school and that is where the choice element comes in because existence precedes essence you aren't born who you are you choose who you are and um, that is that is key here you don't you existence precedes essence so if you can take anything away from this video, I know I've been rambling on for quite a while now. Um, as you go forward reading the book, just keep that in mind as you see Gregor develop and there are certain scenarios, you know, you'll get into the book, I'll, I'll go over them in the chapter analysis. But just, just keep a lookout for that. Um, uh, what decisions does he make as a person and what actions does he take as a beetle that define who he is? Uh, I have nothing else, so I will leave you here. Thank you so much, and check out the other videos, and, and just remember, existentialism is key. Bye.